Okay, so now let's talk about uh, decentralized uh, exchange. So it's all under the category of swap, which is basically uh, exchange. Swap one token for another token. Okay, so uh, uh, basically what we're going to do in DeFi is something atomic. Okay, so within uh, a decentralized exchange, it will be atomic in that if there's a problem with the transaction, then we revert to the original uh, state. Okay, so there's, there's nothing that can happen. So the middle person, uh, for example, a centralized exchange might actually cause some issues. Um, we've certainly seen issues where uh, centralized exchanges uh, basically had to say, no, you can't trade. Um, this happened with Robinhood uh, recently, where given the volume that they experienced, they said that uh, you can't sell. Okay, so this is something that doesn't happen in decentralized finance. So uh, that happens in centralized finance. So uh, again, we've got uh, the use of smart contracts, the build custody funds, for what we actually want to do um, in the swap. So uh, again, when we do an exchange, it is only going to execute if everything, all the conditions are met in the transaction. Okay, so, uh, and it might be, um, you could even put the equivalent of a limit order uh, into the actual uh, transaction that if the price is above X, then I'm not gonna buy. And that is, is, is straightforward to do. Uh, and the contract, again, uh, would recognize this and the transaction basically reverts to the original state, which means you're not buying uh, anything. So when we talk about decentralized exchange, we will use the word DEX, so D-E-X. So that's the lingo, uh, that's on the word cloud, and uh, decentralized exchange, as I said, is that you are basically dealing with an algorithm, a smart uh, contract. There is no uh, other uh, mechanism. So uh, we'll talk about two different categories of how this works. And the first category is order matching. Um, and the second one is uh, an automated uh, market maker. And we'll spend a fair bit of time on the automated uh, market maker, not as much time on the order matching, which today is, is kind of awkward uh, to do. And let me tell you why. So um, order matching is kind of what we saw with the Coinbase screen, where you've got certain people that are willing to sell at certain prices and certain people willing to buy uh, at certain prices. And then uh, there is some middle uh, portion where there is a, a match. Um, and, and, and this is possible uh, to do in decentralized exchange. Um, and effectively, these are, are basically, think of them as if the price gets to X, then I'm willing to uh, sell or buy. So th this is uh, like a reasonable thing to actually have uh, within a potential contract. Um, so Kyber is an example of this, and it's, it's very interesting if you go to their uh, platform. Um, the usual way that it happens is that, let's say I want to use Coinbase to buy, uh, to buy some Ethereum. And I just have set up my account, and with Coinbase, you need to actually transfer some dollars to Coinbase to get started. So I don't have any crypto, but I want to buy some Ethereum. So I need to link my bank account to Coinbase. And the transfer takes two to three days. And then I would have a dollar balance at Coinbase. And then I could use that dollar balance to buy, let's say, some Ethereum. And the Ethereum would be held by Coinbase. So Coinbase would have the private keys. I could at some point uh, repatriate the Ethereum and, uh, and they would give me 
the private keys, but most people just have Coinbase custody of the keys. So with Kyber, uh, it's very interesting um, because there's no transfer of, of dollars or anything like that. You just link your, your uh, MetaMask wallet, for example, which we'll set up uh, in module four of, of this uh, course, and you're ready to go immediately. So my MetaMask wallet might have USDC uh, in it, so US dollar equivalent, but you're ready to go. So there's no sense of transferring. And uh, again, this is uh, just uh, one of the, the protocols um, that is basically on-chain. And that is one of the disadvantages right now because doing stuff on-chain is expensive. Okay, so to have a transaction on-chain that is necessary, but to have all of these potential transactions on-chain that could be really expensive uh, to pull off in terms of the current uh, gas fees. So this is exactly what it looks like, kind of similar to the, um, to the Coinbase uh, screen, but this is uh, what uh, Kyber actually offers. But again, this is a good idea uh, right now, given the cost of doing things on chain, other firms um, have got some off-chain uh, solutions, but if you go off-chain, there's issues uh, involved with that uh, also. So uh, again, um, this is expensive to do uh, with the, uh, the current uh, technology. In the future, uh, this could be much more viable, um, but in my opinion, probably the Automated market makers uh, have got some advantage here. So uh, that's what we're going to do uh, next.